All right, let's talk about networking. This is one of the last videos we're going to do in this for this article. Networking. Now, we're in the age of the pandemic. It's going on right now. Uh, it is uh, June 2020. I used to network in person three, four, five days a week. Uh, it was craziness. I was working on the practice and growing it, and we had four offices at one point. Um, the idea of networking is something that everyone should explore. The problem is right now, live in-person networking is not going to be around for a while. Um, so you've got to think outside the box a little bit to connect with some people, some referral sources, some prospective clients. And the way to do that is online. So I'm working on a course right now on networking. When I've taught this exact stuff that I'm teaching in the online course that I'm working on now to my consulting clients one-on-one, -on -one, these are mostly introverts. I was an introvert at first, but as soon as I felt into the whole practicing law and I felt more confident, no introvert. I was an ex extrovert. And, uh, I was an extrovert. And you don't have to be an extrovert to like networking. But you have to think outside the box a little bit because there's not going to be live networking events. And so one of the things I would suggest doing is putting a group of like-minded people together, business owners or whoever, and do a networking group online through Zoom or whatever. There's all kinds of new softwares coming out to do that. But you can easily network online. LinkedIn is a perfect way to do that. Connect with your ideal clients. Figure out where they're hanging out. If they're hanging out in LinkedIn groups, write some articles for the LinkedIn groups. If they're hanging out in Facebook groups, go join those groups and start a conversation and talk with people. There is another book that is revolutionary as far as I'm concerned. I wish I would have had this book 20 years ago, when I, well, 22 years ago when I first started uh, going out networking and connecting with people. And I've read a load of networking books. This book is called Get a Meeting with Anyone. It is unbelievable in terms of the ideas it has in it to help you to connect with people you don't know. I always suggest against cold reach out unless you know the person somehow. You, you, you have some information about them, you get a warm introduction, but this book can help you to reach out cold to people you don't know, and it's all about creating a connection with them, creating a common bond. Is there anything that you have in common with them? Is there anyone that you know? If there is someone you know on LinkedIn or somewhere that knows them, get a warm introduction. But what happens if you can't get a warm introduction to someone that could be a really great referral source? Well, this book can help you. I have told tons of people about this book and everyone that reads it says, oh my God, this is the best. So you wanna know how to connect with people that are influencers. You wanna reach out to a local person that writes for your newspaper anyone get this book and figure it out the link is below check the book out if you've got any questions shoot me an email connect with me somehow follow me on twitter adam j olette at adam j olette whatever however you can get me and um let's get you doing some networking somehow when when things get back to the new new normal get out and network if you want some information about this course i'm putting together EsquireAcademy.com slash networking. Uh, you can get signed up for the free videos that I'm doing. And I haven't done them yet because I'm working on the course. But get signed up for when they come out, get trained. Because I've had consulting clients say, oh, my God, this, is, this information makes it fun. I can't wait to network. So you want to enjoy networking and love networking? Sign up for some of these videos. Thanks.